As a child, I always thought that there will forever be a world for us to live on, for my kids to live on. But as I've grown up, the dangers and issues of the world have become more apparent. And other than the small first world issues we all face every single day, I've started to realise that there may be an end to the world. Climate change is not some far off issue. It is happening here and it is happening now. Barack Obama stated this in a 2015 international conference on the Arctic. And is not wrong. We've all seen the horrific bushfires and hailstorms and droughts, yet we all still proceed to buy our takeaway coffee and leave our lights on when we're out. Why? What is it all for? Now I know there's no simple solution to climate change, but surely after inventing planes and rockets we'd be able to come up with something, right? But some people just don't seem to care. I like to split people up into three groups. You've got the activist, you've got the people who know about climate change but don't really know what to do about it so they buy their coffee and get on with their day, and the climate deniers. Well first off, if you're option one, that's great. That's why we need everyone in order to solve this issue. If you're option two, I would just like to say that there's always something you can do and I know it's such an overwhelming issue but that's why I'm here today to inspire you to come up with your own ideas. And option three. Oh God. Well, I just would like to s encourage you to keep an open mind and just buy a recyclable coffee cup because it costs 50 cents less every time. So, my idea. It wasn't that long ago that I was talking to my parents about the solar panels we have on our roof. Now they're about 10 or so years old and they're starting to go. And I was just like, oh, if only there was a simple solution where we could just take them off and roll on new ones. But of course, this is expensive, it creates waste, and it's hard to get them on and off. So my proposal is cheap biodegradable solar panels. Now imagine having entire office buildings covered in the panels on their windows and roofs and being solely powered by them. The analogy I like to use is nature. Leaves. Leaves use the process of photosynthesis to turn sunlight into chemical energy. Well, this is similar to my idea because we could use solar panels and turn um, sunlight into electricity. Well, while coming while, looking for, while, look, while researching for my idea, I came across the CSIRO's flexible solar panels. These are solar panels which are printed onto thin strips of plastic. This is also similar to my idea. However, they still rely on fossil fuels and are therefore unsustainable. So while my idea still isn't fully worked out, I like to remember that in 1962, US President John F. Kennedy stated that by the end of the decade, a human will be setting foot on the moon. At the time of his statement, the technology did not exist for this to happen. So like JFK, I would, I'm setting the challenge and together let's overcome climate change for yourself, your kids, your grandkids and everyone on this planet. Thank you.